Just come, we'll be talking books, blokes and babies with Katie Price. <laughs> icon, a model, a mum, a businesswoman and an author. I think you know who I'm probably talking about. Yes, please welcome one and only Katie Price. <laughs> so, madam, you were on this woman about a year ago. Flipping heck, things have changed for you since then. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I, I know. Can you believe it? I'm married now and a sprog on the way. <laughs> yeah, but very advanced on the way. Oh, I, I hope there's not going to be an incident while I'm sitting next to you. Well, it's not you. long. Like today, I actually asked if I could actually sit here because you don't want to see no. me waddling on. Oh. Me. Oh. How, but, how um, long have you got to go? I now? haven't got that long now, so I'm actually struggling. It's the breathing and because I've got low platelets and I'm really anemic and really short of breath, I'm like struggling with the breathing. It's mad. The worst pregnancy I've had out of all of them. Really? Oh. But it'd be worth it at the end. So. Yeah, that's what you yeah. should think. Yes. That's it, what I've been told. It's funny you do. <laughs> Baby number four. I know, I can't believe it, when but are you I won't stop. stop. I'm not stopping there. <laughs> do you know what? This what? is the fact. I don't know if anyone can help me here, because I've tried to Google it, but I had a natural birth with Harvey. Then yeah. I had two C-sections, and now I've left it six years. Can I have natural again? I'm not a doctor, but I think I'd love to know if I can. I think you can actually, but I'm not a doctor. The reason why I ask is because I want more children. I know when you have a cesarean, you're only allowed a certain amount or something. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's something I want children. Absolutely. I love kids. You're only a young guy. You're only 35, aren't you? So you can. Yeah. My best friend had a baby at 45. And what do what do your other kids think about? They're really excited. Yeah. Like Harvey's really fascinated. Oh. Like um. Yeah, he's fascinated with it. He keeps drawing he's frogs because he's obsessed with frogs, but he does them like with these big bellies now. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's funny how they process it. I know. It. Yeah. It's really sweet, that. So, um, so, yeah. So, sorry, Katie. That's tell okay. Us, tell us about this whirlwind that happened with Kieran then. Yeah. What, ha what happened there? Well, he was, he's been after me for about a year. Mm. Aren't I lucky? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you were engaged. But you know yeah. what? When the book comes out and the autobiography, the thing with me and Leo, is, it, is it, it was all a sham, really. You'll have to read the book because, really, he should never have come back. Mm. And you know when you try you and you very think, happy, though, when you were here last time. Oh, do you know, the best thing I did was get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and I'm not being horrible. Kidding. No, but the thing is, you can ask all my friends. I kept telling him to get out of my house, go, go. Oh. And he's like, no, no, me stay. And oh. you'll have to read the book. Yeah. That's what he was like. You know, he didn't work, he'd wait for me to come home and, you know, we're all working like women and there's nothing worse than someone's at home on the sofa or whatever just waiting for you to come home. It's not a challenge, is it? Not really. And so um, there's more to it than that. And then, like the engagement ring, he never paid for it anyway. I had to give it back. <laughs> so there's loads to it, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'm sure when the book comes out, he'll have plenty to say about what you say about him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got nothing to hide. I only tell the truth, don't I? So. Well, this is true. This yeah. is true. And he's not here to say his bit. I have to say that. He's not here to say his bit. Yeah. Anyway. But lovely Kieran. Yeah. So he proposed on Christmas Day, was it? Was it um... When was it? No, he didn't propose on Christmas. I'm just thinking that's what they reported. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really like that, to be honest. We just decided Had it would happen. Did you know each other for quite some time, though, before? Uh, like he knew, friends. like, a couple of my best friends a right. year before. And obviously I was with Leo, and I'm not going to cheat anyway, even though he wasn't getting on. Um, so it sort of happened from there. Then I split with Leo, and then, you know, my friends are like, ah, oh, and I'm like, no, I want to stay single. I'm not interested. And I always say, I'm going to stay single. <laughs> And it Excuse never happened. <laughs> but it never happened. No. And no. it's like, to be honest, I'm better being with someone than single. Because when I'm single, because I live in the country, why do I want to sit there on my own? Uh -huh. You want to go out. And, uh, well, he's so, very yeah. nice to look at, isn't he? He's, he's, he's a stunner, isn't he? Well, you can see more of him on a Saturday night at his show. <laughs> 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 Because um, he takes them off, does he? Yeah, he's a, a, yeah. he's a stripping at Adonis on a Saturday. <laughs> and um, <laughs> when I <laughs> met him, him I uh, couldn't believe he did it. I said, there's no way you're a stripper. There's absolute no way. I and mean, he's a plaster in the day, like a build. He's like a normal guy. But <laughs> he's living a double life. He's a plaster by but day and he's a stripper it. by night. So he's basically... On a Saturday, yeah. yeah. On a Saturday night, but he's basically earning his own money. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It doesn't oh. matter what you do, as long as... You bring in something. I quite like the sound of that plaster through the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, he's a really good guy, but he's so quiet. When you meet him, so quiet. And I always say he's silent but deadly. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, you've written another book? Yes, 
Well, Rebecca actually this wrote is, it, is like it. I always say. I come up with the plot. Yeah, but you Rebecca, come up with yeah. the concept, though, don't you? It's yeah. called He's the One, yeah. which I named before I was with Kira. <laughs> <laughs> It's your 49th um, book as Yes, well. wow. 49th yeah. book. I know people are always like, well, 49, because I've done children's books and everything as well. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. Then the autobiography's out in October. Oh, you're writing that one? Uh, I finished it, but if there's more dramas up till August, <laughs> then you're going to add another chapter. Oh, an, an update. Oh, an update. That'll be the well, biggest yeah, drama. Can, yeah, so I'll be able to put that in there. Oh, that's a good drama, that's not a drama. No, that's a nice thing to happen. But, um, yeah, so that's it, and then the perfume's out at the moment. But, you know, the people have got to realise, because they're like, why are you working now when you're so busy, you, when you're pregnant? But the thing is, these things take ages. Like last year, yeah. we book it in. Mm. So it just goes somewhere. I didn't know I was going to be pregnant, you know. Yeah. So you just have to get on with it. Well, we've got we've had a viewer's question. Um, are you doing any more reality TV? Because they miss you on the box. We've had a few of those. I know, lots and of people that's say from that. from mm -hmm. Ah, hi, Lorena. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do it through YouTube. So oh. I keep looking this way through YouTube. Because um, okay. then I feel, because to do one show, you have to film like three weeks mm. for like one yeah. show. So like on YouTube, I can just do things that I probably wouldn't have shown before, like say if I'm getting ready for a night out or show how I do my makeup. Just things like that, really. I mean, Jamie mm. Oliver's done it as well, and he's, yeah. he's doing really well with it. But I'm not Jamie Oliver. <laughs> so probably do better. Now, talking of telly, yeah. what about that impersonation of you on Britain's Got Talent? I mean, oh, she, Francine. Francine, she did me as well, but I thought mine was rubbish. What about yours? Um, I've known Francine for years, years and years. Really? Yeah, and um, she used to do Jerry Halliwell and Doc Cotton and all of them, Barbara Windsor. She was so good at them. And even then, she said, you're so difficult to do. So when I saw on the show, she's amazing at everyone, but I still don't think she's got me right. I mean, what she was saying, you know, it's the usual people take the mickey yeah. and stuff, but she didn't sound like me, and no, she, she still hasn't got me, so keep trying, Francine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, obviously, uh, you know, and your autobiography will tell yet more. Yeah. Uh, you've had a number of relationships over time. We were talking yeah. earlier about when a relationship is over, is it better to have that clean break and send someone else in to get your stuff out for you? The thing is with relationships, it depends who finishes with who. Because mm. um, I think, you know, us women, we're really sensitive. Well, so are men. If someone breaks it off with you, it's harder, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But if you break it off with them, you are automatically strong because you feel you're in control. Um, but I think once you break it off, break it off, and there should be a period you leave it before you're in contact again because one always wants more than the other. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. true enough. I find. Oh, yeah. And I don't get too many people involved because when you do get back with them, if you do, and then all the things you said about yeah, them. Yeah, come back. Yeah, yeah exactly. Back to so how are you going to cope with Princess when she gets to meeting boys and everything? What you know? would you put, uh, I'm more worried about Junior with the girls at the minute. <laughs> 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 the ladies' man, yeah. How old is Junior now? He'll be eight. Oh, no, he's eight now, yeah. It's oh. Princess's birthday on Saturday. Oh, wow. So, and um, then Harvey's just turned 11. I can't believe that. No. I really can't. And another one on the way. I know. Oh, I love it. Are you I, mean, girl? I know. For your girl. I know what it is, and I have to be careful when I talk to my mum and that don't know. Oh right. I so know let's what not it go is. There yet. I, we know the names, and um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we wish you every uh, oh, success thanks with, very with much. the birth, thank obviously, you. and uh, mm. thank you for coming on and being loose and live, Katie Price. Oh, thank you. Yeah.